Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I'm just going to show you how I created this form here in WordPress using Gravity Forms. Now just to show you briefly, this form has a name and email which as you can see from that asterisk there are required fields. There's other fields that aren't required with radio buttons, you can add files by selecting them or dropping them and that's multiple files. There's checkboxes and there are other ways of filling in form information there. And at the end, there's a checkbox saying, would you like to receive emails and a submit button. Now you can create a form like this with the free plugin Contact Form 7, but I'm using Gravity Forms now because it's a whole lot quicker and it has great other benefits to it, not least the integration with Aweber, which I'm going to show you as well. If you'd like to buy it using my affiliate link, you don't have to. You can just Google Gravity Forms, but my affiliate link is robcubbon.com slash go slash Gravity Forms, and that will take you to Gravity Forms there, and if you click on that button, I would suggest you buy this version. You could just create the forms with the personal version, but this, the business version, allows you the basic form add-ons, which gives you the integration with Aweber, which can turn a form into a lead generation tool, and I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that now. So once you load Gravity Forms, you'll find a new item appearing on the left-hand side of your WordPress dashboard called Forms. And here is all the forms I've created. You can just click Add New to create a new form. I'll just show you that web design questionnaire that I did. You click on these and you get the various form fields up. You can add HTML content. I use that to add titles and you basically build your form like this. So that's the form editor, and I'll show you that later. But here you've got form settings, and that includes some basic meta information and style for the form. But on the confirmations, you can edit and give a specific message for when someone has successfully completed the form. And the notifications, even more important. Here you can determine what people receive in an email after they successfully complete the form. You can select an email from the form that has been entered. You have a subject line of the email and a message of the email where you can put anything, including this short code, which will just list all the answers that have been given in the form. You can add media to this, so you can add a PDF or anything like that. But why don't I go ahead and create a new form to show you how easy it is. Let's just give it a title first of all. Test and create form. Over here on the right, let's straight away go to the advanced fields and let's start with name. And as you can see, and already the form has started to be created. And in order to edit any of these fields, you just click on them and then you can give it a description. So that's done now. You can update that form and put it on a page. Let's create a new page and call it test and add form and let's add our test form and there's the short code for the form we can just publish that and view page and already we've got a form there that's up and running and it's working let's go back to the builder so we go back to forms and let's choose our test form and let's add a few more fields so let's go back to the advanced fields because I want to add an email the advantage of doing that is it tests whether it has the at sign and it's in an email format like robertrobcubbon.com or something like that back to the standard fields you can have a single line of text remember click on it to edit and say what's your favorite color for example let's do some radio buttons give another question and then we can click other there and that gives another choice I'll show you that when we view the form click on advanced and enable conditional logic this can show this question dependent on the answer in another form field let's do another one let's make it a checkbox do you want to join the email list we'll give the answer yes 
we could give the answer no as well, but it's not a required field. Oh, I'll show you the required fields as well. But this is for the Aweber integration. You don't have to do it, but it's a nice thing if you can. Let's go back up and make the first two required fields. So we'll check in the required fields checkbox and the email will make that required field as well. So let's update the form and we'll go back to that page and refresh and let's fill it out. There's my name and email address. Remember these are required fields. If we try and submit without one of those it will say there's a problem. Remember what's your favorite color? I'll go red for that. Remember we used conditional logic there so let's put in blue and we've got the pet question. And remember, if you have radio boxes, you can check the other box. And if you don't like any of those choices, you can just add in another. Do you want to join the email list? Yes. So I've submitted that now, but the person who sent that is not going to receive anything yet. We've got to put that in at the back end as well. Also, we aren't hooked up to Aweber yet with this form, so we've got to do that as well. I'll just show you those two things. So with this form, now if we go into form settings, notifications, we have the admin notification, but we want to give a notification to the person who entered their email. And to do that, we go send to select field select the email field and we select that email. You can do this to multiple email addresses and then you put the short code in there, all fields. You can type anything you want, you can use short codes, you save that notification and don't forget to enter a subject and you save that notification then that person who's filled out the form will also receive an email and that could have anything in it. It could have a PDF or a link to a movie or anything. Finally, I just want to show you the Aweber integration. Remember, if you've bought the business version of Gravity Forms, you'll then have to download the Aweber add-on. You have to log in at gravityhelp.com and then you just got to hook it up to your Aweber account. And what you do, you go to settings and Aweber and you click there to receive your authorization code. You just sign in with your Aweber username and password and there it is. You can copy and paste it in there. So all you've got to do is add another Aweber feed, select a list, select a form, select an email address, select the full name, and remember, I put a opt-in conditional question in there. I said, do you want to receive email? You don't have to do this, but I'll just show you anyway. Export to Aweber if, do you want to join email list is yes. So you save that and let's test this now. So let's fill it in. Favorite color, let's go for green. Do you want to join the email list? Yes, submit that. And here we have the email. Remember, it could say anything, but we've just given the short code for all the answers. So there it is with the favorite color green. And if we wait another few moments, then you'll receive an email from Aweber when you can then click on the link and then join the list. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. It's been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.